to, weren't you? Absolutely not. That's what you were up to. Absolutely. That's the reason you went to the governor's office. That's the reason you were talking to TLR. That's the reason that you had or engaged in conduct removing your boss's name. You were staging a coup, weren't you? Absolutely not. <laughs> That's intense questioning and testimony today in the impeachment trial of suspended Attorney General Ken Paxton. Jeff Mateer, a whistleblower who served as Paxton's second in command, testified again today. He was the only witness put on the stand yesterday, and Mateer was the first of two witnesses to take the stand today. Yeah, the only person uh, missing was Ken Paxton himself. After making a brief mandatory appearance Tuesday morning, he hasn't been back since. Paxton has pleaded not guilty to all of the 16 articles of impeachment. Now, this is related to corruption, bribery, and misuse of funds. In his testimony today, Mateer recounted a months-long pattern of behavior by Paxton when it came to investor and friend Nate Paul. This includes Paxton's insistence on hiring a special prosecutor to investigate Paul's claims of FBI corruption. By September of 2020, Mateer said he and senior staff in Paxton's AG office knew that Paul was, quote, a bad guy and try to protect Paxton and get him to come clean about any wrongdoing. I came to the conclusion that Mr. Paul had enabled Mr. Paxton and despite my efforts, the other deputies efforts, we, we couldn't protect him because he didn't want to be protected. Well, we're going to continue tracking this as that testimony continues. And we will keep you updated. We know that Ryan Banger is being questioned by the prosecution attorney, Rusty Harden. Banger is a Paxton whistleblower who was the deputy first assistant. He made it clear to the prosecution that he is not left leaning. Testimony is still underway and is expected to wrap up about 630. Stay with 12 News on air and online for gavel to gavel coverage. Of course, you can uh, check out 12newsnow.com for our extensive real time blog. And we have our coverage streaming at 12 News Plus. So to come 